This is an Invacare Ranger X wheelchair base with the chair taken off. A uh, little platform built on top. I got a metal box that holds all my electronics. I'll go over that in a minute. An acrylic uh, clip, essentially, holds a 100 round uh, belt uh, for Nerf darts. Uh, the belt is zigzagged back and forth, so when the gun's going off, you're only pulling 10, 15 rounds at a time and it won't jam the, jam the Nerf gun. Got a Nerf bulk in here, a little paint job, some black, flat black, and chrome. Uh, it's running at 12 volts. It's mounted to that metal box. Um, I uh, took it apart and hacked to the motor and got a black and a green. Uh, soldered directly to the motor, so I am bypassing the switch, or sorry, the, the trigger, the on-off switch, and the little safety, stupid safety thingy right there. So now you can dry fire it. Uh, the gun's running at 12 volts. Um, it's all controlled by an Arduino Mega. The my um, controller of choice is a Wii Nunchuck. Um, it's uh, just hardwired to the system right now. Eventually this will be wireless using some XBs. The Nunchuck at this point is connected to uh, this little PCB I found online called the Nunchucky. This works really awesome. The Wii Nunchuck plugs right into it and locks it in place. Uh, it's got two uh, screw holes for mounting. Uh, works beautifully for this project. Um, I've seen like these really thin, kind of linear uh, nunchuck ad adapters that plug right into your Arduinos, but you can't really mount them anywhere. So this this has been awesome. Love it. It's only probably two or three bucks. I don't know if it was on Adafruit or or what, but it's on one of those uh, do-it-yourself websites. Uh, I got some relays, all my electronic hacking kind of in there. Uh, the three relays control the Nerf gun and the up and down of the wheelchair itself. The Arduino Mega has, uh, see so if I could explain these connections. So this black and green here, that's my 3.3 volts and my ground to my nunchuck. Um, the data and clock from the nunchuck are the, there's another, there's a middle kind of black and red pair those two wires go to my SDA and my SCL pins, pins 20 and 21 on Omega. That's your data and your clock. Uh, these three wires right here, those represent um, the up, the down, and the, um, the Nerf Vulcan. Um, and those two reds right next to the green wire on the left end there, that's, uh, that's my ground going down through the acrylic and the two reds are my X and Y out from the nunchuck. You can kind of see some of my electronics down there. Um, that right there is a low pass filter. Um, you need that to kind of smooth out your signal from the Arduino. If you have any questions about the low pass, fil the, the low pass filter or the relays or what some of these little PCBs and stuff are, uh, go ahead and shoot me a message and I'll be glad to, to help you out on your project. Um, I do have two sources for control. And this controls the two, source, the, the two sources. My Arduino source. If I flip it to the other way, I have control of the wheelchair via its original joystick. But if I flip it back, which is where all the fun is, I can control it via a nunchuck. Via, via, whatever. Melee, melee. Potato, potato. Alright, so we got a little extension cord. That was something else I got from Amazon. I think it was like three bucks or something like that. Might have been five, I don't remember. Um, the nunchuck, I'm not using the accelerometer at this point, but it will be used to control some RGB lighting that'll be throughout the project. So as you're controlling it, moving the nunchuck around it'll kind of constantly be changing little ground effects essentially um, so my movement is all controlled by the joystick like so 
that's all ran through the Arduino and then sent to the chair. And uh, the C button, that tilts the chair up. Z tilts it back down. This is all running through those relays. And these aren't analog signals, this is just, this is just high or low. If you're into Arduino, you know what that means. Um, close, close the clip. Now as the belt, as the belt is fed through the gun, and this is covered right here. The spent belt will then feed into this box that is half full of Nerf darts. So, um, let me turn this towards my backyard a little bit. Make sure not ran over the cord. Now this, this is all gonna be wireless eventually, and it probably won't even have a Nerf gun on it. It'll have something a lot cooler than a Nerf gun, whatever that might be. So here's like a few shots going off for you. And all I am doing is I'm hitting both buttons for the Nerf gun. And then yeah, if that cover was on, it would all just fall into, into that box. So, a little more, I'll spin it. There's some da da da, some spinach, da da da. And uh, show it to you going up again and down. And that is all done with an accessory that actually came on the wheelchair when I got it from Goodwill for 65 bucks. The little linear uh, actuator. Right here, I'll kind of show you that motion real quick. It's pretty sweet. Oh, right, right, up. All right, well, if you got any questions, any comments, let me know. Send me a message, and, uh, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.